Okay, so Neil, tell us where we're at. What are we doing here? Well, we're here day three of uh, Airfest, uh, lovely Argonia, Kansas. No place I'd rather be when it's 100 degrees out. Uh, day one was spent motors, parachutes, just general prepping of the rocket. Uh, yesterday was spent getting it on the pad, having a few challenging issues, uh, mainly with some of the electronics and uh, things that go boom inside the, the rocket. But that's been corrected uh, by the time they got done at the end of the day, the waiver had run out. So this is day three. It is now uh, 9.38 in the morning and Steve is prepping electronics. He'll put igniters in in the next 10 minutes or so. So hopefully sometime between 10 and 10.30 this bird will be flying. Uh, only concerns right now, the wind's a little bit variable and it is heading back towards the flight line. But depending on uh, where things come down, they land in the field will be okay if they land in the pits well that'll be another story dumping 900 pounds of rocket back home we'll see Suits all burned up. Suits burned up on the booster.
So it's day two. Your rocket just flew. You going to Disneyland? I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> After that thing coming screaming in for a thousand feet before the chutes came out, I was on that panic button on the WRC2 and just stayed on it, and it finally blew. Yeah. But I don't know why we pulled a good 500 to a thousand feet in a straight draw, in a straight drop. And uh, but the chute came out and it held. Did you take a look at the rocket since it landed? No, I'm, we're going to take the tower out there and recover it. I haven't even looked at it. But it's probably the same condition it was last time. We'll probably, could, in theory, load motors back in and try again. But man, I've got some issues to work out. But you'll be back. I'll be back one way or another. We'll see it again. We'll see it again. www.rocketsmagazine.com